Hey, have you had a chance to think about how we'll divide the tasks of the project? Yes, I've been giving it some thought. I think we need a balanced approach. Hey, have you had a chance to think about how we'll divide the tasks of the project? Yes, I've been giving it some thought. I think we need a balanced approach. Hey, have you had a chance to think about how we'll divide the tasks of the project? Yes, I've been giving it some thought. I think we need a balanced approach. Agreed. It's important that everyone's skills are utilized effectively. Exactly. Let's start by listing the major components of the project. Agreed. It's important that everyone's skills are utilized effectively. Exactly. Let's start by listing the major components of the project. Agreed. It's important that everyone's skills are utilized effectively. Exactly. Let's start by listing the major components of the project. Good idea. We can then assign tasks based on expertise and workload. I suggest we create a spreadsheet to track tasks, deadlines, and responsible team members. Good idea. We can then assign tasks based on expertise and workload. I suggest we create a spreadsheet to track tasks, deadlines, and responsible team members. Good idea. We can then assign tasks based on expertise and workload. I suggest we create a spreadsheet to track tasks, deadlines, and responsible team members. That would definitely keep things organized. Do you want to take care of that? Sure. I'll set up the spreadsheet and share it with the team. What's next? That would definitely keep things organized. Do you want to take care of that? Sure. I'll set up the spreadsheet and share it with the team. What's next? That would definitely keep things organized. Do you want to take care of that? Sure. I'll set up the spreadsheet and share it with the team. What's next? Let's review each person's strengths and assign tasks accordingly. What are your thoughts? Agreed. Jane is great with data analysis, and Mark excels at coding. Let's review each person's strengths and assign tasks accordingly. What are your thoughts? Agreed. Jane is great with data analysis, and Mark excels at coding. Let's review each person's strengths and assign tasks accordingly. What are your thoughts? Agreed. Jane is great with data analysis, and Mark excels at coding. And Sarah has design skills, while Chris is a strong communicator. Precisely. Let's play to their strengths and ensure a well-rounded team effort. And Sarah has design skills, while Chris is a strong communicator. Precisely. Let's play to their strengths and ensure a well-rounded team effort. And Sarah has design skills, while Chris is a strong communicator. Precisely. Let's play to their strengths and ensure a well-rounded team effort. I also think we should rotate some tasks to enhance everyone's skills. That's a fantastic idea. It keeps the team dynamic and knowledge sharing alive. I also think we should rotate some tasks to enhance everyone's skills. That's a fantastic idea. It keeps the team dynamic and knowledge sharing alive. I also think we should rotate some tasks to enhance everyone's skills. 
That's a fantastic idea. It keeps the team dynamic and knowledge sharing alive. Great. Now, how do you want to handle overlapping tasks or potential conflicts? We should encourage open communication. If conflicts arise, we address them promptly. Great. Now, how do you want to handle overlapping tasks or potential conflicts? We should encourage open communication. If conflicts arise, we address them promptly. Great. Now, how do you want to handle overlapping tasks or potential conflicts? We should encourage open communication. If conflicts arise, we address them promptly. Agreed. Transparency will help us avoid misunderstandings down the road. Let's also set up regular check ins to track progress and address any concerns. Agreed. Transparency will help us avoid misunderstandings down the road. Let's also set up regular check ins to track progress and address any concerns. Agreed. Transparency will help us avoid misunderstandings down the road. Let's also set up regular check ins to track progress and address any concerns. Weekly meetings sound good. It'll help us stay on top of things. During those meetings, we can also discuss any adjustments to the task assignments. Weekly meetings sound good. It'll help us stay on top of things. During those meetings, we can also discuss any adjustments to the task assignments. Weekly meetings sound good. It'll help us stay on top of things. During those meetings, we can also discuss any adjustments to the task assignments. Flexibility is important as the project evolves. Now, about deadlines. I think we should set realistic deadlines and build in some buffer time. Flexibility is important as the project evolves. Now, about deadlines. I think we should set realistic deadlines and build in some buffer time. Flexibility is important as the project evolves. Now, about deadlines. I think we should set realistic deadlines and build in some buffer time. True. Unexpected delays can occur, so a buffer is a smart move. We should make sure everyone understands their tasks and the overall timeline. True. Unexpected delays can occur, so a buffer is a smart move. We should make sure everyone understands their tasks and the overall timeline. True. Unexpected delays can occur, so a buffer is a smart move. We should make sure everyone understands their tasks and the overall timeline. Clear communication is key. We can share the project timeline along with the spreadsheet. And if anyone faces challenges or falls behind, they should feel comfortable speaking up. Clear communication is key. We can share the project timeline along with the spreadsheet. And if anyone faces challenges or falls behind, they should feel comfortable speaking up. Clear communication is key. We can share the project timeline along with the spreadsheet. And if anyone faces challenges or falls behind, they should feel comfortable speaking up. Definitely. We're a team, and supporting each other is crucial for success. In case we need additional resources, we can discuss outsourcing or getting help. Definitely. 
We're a team, and supporting each other is crucial for success. In case we need additional resources, we can discuss outsourcing or getting help. Definitely. We're a team, and supporting each other is crucial for success. In case we need additional resources, we can discuss outsourcing or getting help. Good point. Our goal is to deliver quality results, even if it means seeking help. Overall, I believe our approach will lead to a smooth and successful project. Good point. Our goal is to deliver quality results, even if it means seeking help. Overall, I believe our approach will lead to a smooth and successful project. Good point. Our goal is to deliver quality results, even if it means seeking help. Overall, I believe our approach will lead to a smooth and successful project. I share your optimism. With clear planning and teamwork, we've got this. Absolutely. Let's start executing the plan and make this project shine. I share your optimism. With clear planning and teamwork, we've got this. Absolutely. Let's start executing the plan and make this project shine. I share your optimism. With clear planning and teamwork, we've got this. Absolutely. Let's start executing the plan and make this project shine. Thanks for your input. Together, we'll make this project a real success. Thank you too. Here's to a productive and rewarding collaboration ahead. Thanks for your input. Together, we'll make this project a real success. Thank you too. Here's to a productive and rewarding collaboration ahead. Thanks for your input. Together, we'll make this project a real success. Thank you too. Here's to a productive and rewarding collaboration ahead. Hi there. Have you had a chance to think about how we should divide the tasks for the upcoming project? Yes, I've been mulling it over. I think a collaborative approach makes sense. Hi there. Have you had a chance to think about how we should divide the tasks for the upcoming project? Yes, I've been mulling it over. I think a collaborative approach makes sense. Hi there. Have you had a chance to think about how we should divide the tasks for the upcoming project? Yes, I've been mulling it over. I think a collaborative approach makes sense. I agree. We should leverage each team member's strengths effectively. Right. Let's begin by outlining the main components of the project. I agree. We should leverage each team member's strengths effectively. Right. Let's begin by outlining the main components of the project. I agree. We should leverage each team member's strengths effectively. Right. Let's begin by outlining the main components of the project. Good plan. Then we can assign tasks based on expertise and workload. I propose we use a shared document to track tasks, deadlines, and team members responsible. Good plan. Then we can assign tasks based on expertise and workload. I propose we use a shared document to track tasks, deadlines, and team members responsible. Good plan. Then we can assign tasks based on expertise and workload. 
I propose we use a shared document to track tasks, deadlines, and team members responsible. That would definitely help us stay organized. Can you set that up? Sure. I'll get the document ready and share the link. What's our next step? That would definitely help us stay organized. Can you set that up? Sure. I'll get the document ready and share the link. What's our next step? That would definitely help us stay organized. Can you set that up? Sure. I'll get the document ready and share the link. What's our next step? Let's assess each person's skills and match tasks accordingly. What's your take? Agreed. Alex is adept at research, and Mia has a knack for presentations. Let's assess each person's skills and match tasks accordingly. What's your take? Agreed. Alex is adept at research, and Mia has a knack for presentations. Let's assess each person's skills and match tasks accordingly. What's your take? Agreed. Alex is adept at research, and Mia has a knack for presentations. Plus, Ben is skilled in coding, while Emily is detail-oriented for proofreading. Precisely. We'll maximize their abilities to ensure a well-rounded project. Plus, Ben is skilled in coding, while Emily is detail-oriented for proofreading. Precisely. We'll maximize their abilities to ensure a well-rounded project. Plus, Ben is skilled in coding, while Emily is detail-oriented for proofreading. Precisely. We'll maximize their abilities to ensure a well-rounded project. I also think we should rotate tasks for skill enhancement. What do you think? Excellent idea. It keeps the team adaptable and promotes knowledge sharing. I also think we should rotate tasks for skill enhancement. What do you think? Excellent idea. It keeps the team adaptable and promotes knowledge sharing. I also think we should rotate tasks for skill enhancement. What do you think? Excellent idea. It keeps the team adaptable and promotes knowledge sharing. Perfect. How do we address overlapping tasks or potential conflicts? We should encourage open dialogue. If issues arise, we address them promptly. Perfect. How do we address overlapping tasks or potential conflicts? We should encourage open dialogue. If issues arise, we address them promptly. Perfect. How do we address overlapping tasks or potential conflicts? We should encourage open dialogue. If issues arise, we address them promptly. Agreed. Transparent communication will prevent misunderstandings down the line. Regular check-ins will help us track progress and address concerns too. Agreed. Transparent communication will prevent misunderstandings down the line. Regular check-ins will help us track progress and address concerns too. Agreed. Transparent communication will prevent misunderstandings down the line. Regular check-ins will help us track progress and address concerns too. Weekly updates sound good. It'll keep everyone aligned with the project's direction. During those check-ins, we can also discuss any adjustments to task assignments. Weekly updates sound good. It'll keep everyone aligned with the project's direction.
During those check-ins, we can also discuss any adjustments to task assignments. Weekly updates sound good. It'll keep everyone aligned with the project's direction. During those check-ins, we can also discuss any adjustments to task assignments. Flexibility is key as circumstances change. Now, about deadlines. I suggest setting realistic deadlines and accounting for buffer time. Flexibility is key as circumstances change. Now, about deadlines. I suggest setting realistic deadlines and accounting for buffer time. Flexibility is key as circumstances change. Now, about deadlines. I suggest setting realistic deadlines and accounting for buffer time. Absolutely. Unexpected delays can happen, so building in cushion time is wise. We must ensure each team member comprehends their tasks and the overall timeline. Absolutely. Unexpected delays can happen, so building in cushion time is wise. We must ensure each team member comprehends their tasks and the overall timeline. Absolutely. Unexpected delays can happen, so building in cushion time is wise. We must ensure each team member comprehends their tasks and the overall timeline. Clear instructions matter. We can share the project timeline along with the document. And if anyone faces hurdles or needs assistance, they should feel comfortable speaking up. Clear instructions matter. We can share the project timeline along with the document. And if anyone faces hurdles or needs assistance, they should feel comfortable speaking up. Clear instructions matter. We can share the project timeline along with the document. And if anyone faces hurdles or needs assistance, they should feel comfortable speaking up. Precisely. We're a team, and supporting each other is vital for our success. If we require extra resources, we can discuss outsourcing or seeking additional help. Precisely. We're a team, and supporting each other is vital for our success. If we require extra resources, we can discuss outsourcing or seeking additional help. Precisely. We're a team, and supporting each other is vital for our success. If we require extra resources, we can discuss outsourcing or seeking additional help. True. Quality results matter, even if it means collaborating beyond our team. Overall, I'm confident our approach will lead to a successful project. True. Quality results matter, even if it means collaborating beyond our team. Overall, I'm confident our approach will lead to a successful project. True. Quality results matter, even if it means collaborating beyond our team. Overall, I'm confident our approach will lead to a successful project. I share your optimism. With thorough planning and teamwork, we'll thrive. Absolutely. Let's put our plan into action and make this project shine. I share your optimism. With thorough planning and teamwork, we'll thrive. Absolutely. Let's put our plan into action and make this project shine. I share your optimism. With thorough planning and teamwork, we'll thrive. Absolutely. Let's put our plan into action and make this project shine. Thanks for your insights. Together, we'll achieve remarkable results in this project. 
Thank you too. Here's to a productive and fulfilling collaboration ahead. Thanks for your insights. Together, we'll achieve remarkable results in this project. Thank you too. Here's to a productive and fulfilling collaboration ahead. Thanks for your insights. Together, we'll achieve remarkable results in this project. Thank you too. Here's to a productive and fulfilling collaboration ahead.